Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and some testing of this Atola USB 3.0 hub. And this is a powered hub. And I got this on Amazon. And if you find this helpful and you want one of these, I'll put a link in the description with my Amazon affiliate link. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So here's the hub here. It's a very beefy cord. Let's see how long that cord is. That's about probably 40 inches. That was a good guess, it's 40 inches. So I made a video a long time ago on this Saberent drive. I'll put a link in the description of this. This is a um, this is actually just a charger. So this is like a box here and it has one of these connectors and you plug it in. One thing that's nice about this one, if you just need a charger, is this is a standard cord and you could buy like a really short version of this. So if you had like a desktop plug-in, you could just have a short cable going to this and um, it'd be a nice little setup just for charging. But this one is a powered hub and it comes with a power adapter here. So it looks like this is 4 amps at 5 volts output and this has a charging port on it and then it has 7 ports here. So this is data, uh, this is charging only. Also comes with this um, Let's see some cards here. Warranty has two-year warranty. Has a quick start guide here. And it says, yeah, USB 3.0 port, uh, charging up to 1.5 amps. And this one on the end is up to 2.4 amps. And then you can turn the individual ports on and off, but you can't turn this one on and off. Okay, so let's try this out. So I have my MacBook here. This is a 2012 MacBook Pro, and this has a USB 3.0 port on it. And from, from what I've read, this will run without um, being plugged in. So this is powered by the computer. And then if you want extra power, you want to plug in the power supply. So now that's plugged into external power. And if I plug in a little thumb drive here, this is a really old thumb drive. It should show up on my screen here. And there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a speed test on this and I'll switch over to my computer uh, here in just a second. Okay, so I have Blackmagic speed test hooked up here. And the first thing I'm going to do is plug my this hard drive. And this is a crucial uh, SSD in a Sabrent enclosure. I'll put a link in the description of these too. Um, this is a USB 3.0 enclosure. It's bus powered. So I'll plug that in here. I'll turn it on. And there it mounted. I'll go and select the target disk. And I'll select the crucial. Open and we'll run a quick test on here. And we see we have... Well, it was up at 200 megabytes per second. Now it's down around 100 megabytes per second, right? And we have, say, 426 megabytes per second read. And now the writes, the write starts off quick and then it kind of goes down. So this isn't as high a performance of drive as like some of my Samsungs I use. So I'll stop this test. I'll eject the Crucial. And then I'll plug that into the, I'll plug that in here. And then we'll run that test again and see if we get any different results. See if we're getting a speed drop. So I'll select the target drive again. Hit start. And we're getting 365 megabits per second. It's actually faster. That's kind of funny. And then we're getting uh, 422 megabytes per second on the reads. So it doesn't look like we've gotten a speed drop. So now this is a uh, USB 2.0 uh, thumb drive. It's 512 meg. This is quite old. This is probably 10 years old. Easy. So I'm going to plug this in. I want, I'm curious if this will um, slow down the USB 3.0 transfer. So we'll run this test again. Looks like we're getting 300 and some, 200 and some right. Right. 
and the reads were in the 420 megabyte range. So it looks like it doesn't uh, change the speed at all. So I can, I, I normally wouldn't do this, but I'm going to turn off this port while it's plugged in on this thumb drive. So I pressed the button, it didn't seem to, okay, I gotta hold it down for a second. And it said the disc was uh, not ejected properly. So not there's no data on this, I'm not worried about ruining it. So those um, there, so what you can do on this is you could plug in, say, you know, your phone, your tablet, things like that, and then you can turn them off after they're done charging. So things I wanna plug in are like my GoPros um, when I'm charging them. So what I'll do is I'll take my GoPro and I'll offload some uh, data on it and I'll just leave it unplugged into charge and then I wanna unmount it. So I'll just hit that button and unmount it when I'm done. So, so that's the Atola USB 3.0, seven port USB 3.0. Did I say that twice? Yeah. Um, Hub. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.